Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video we are going to see the modules and the libraries. So what are modules? So basically modules are separate files that contain python codes and provide reusability of function classes and variables. So what does it mean? It means that modules are basically the python files. Uh, inside that files we have uh, separate functions for separate operations and we can have classes and variables also now what happens that that in that file if you want to access uh, that variables and functions in our current file so we have to import that file or we can say we have to import that module so when we are importing that file that file becomes a module so it is called modules now you can see here there is a file i have created demo.py now inside this file i have a function for addition i have created a function already for addition and then i have a, a variable name person1 inside this variable we have stored name age gender of a person so what we are going to do in this current file we are going to access uh, the variable and the function in uh, in our current file so how we are how we are going to do that so for doing that we have to import this demo file and for importing this file we have to use this import keyword and then we have to simply write the name of our file that is demo and now we want to print the variable which we have created in the demo file so was for so for doing that what we are going to do we have to simply first write the demo and then we have to give the name of that variable here as you can see why we have written demo here because we are telling that this person one is present in this file in this module in this demo module so that's why we have to give each time when we are going to use a function or variable of this demo file we have to write each time demo and then with the dot we are going to use the our variable or function so here when we'll execute the code so you will see our code has been executed but nothing has been printed because we did didn't use the print function so we have to use the print function for printing the variable or the value inside our variable so now when we'll execute the code then you'll see that the values of the variable that are name python age 19 gender male has been printed okay now we are going to call our function for the addition so what we are going to do we are going to write demo then with a dot we are going to write add now add is a function so we have to give the parenthesis here and we are we are calling our function at the function of addition here and we know that our Mm, function of addition takes two parameters so we have to give two numbers here or two values you can say so suppose i am i want to add four and eight so what we, i will do i have i will write here four and eight and when i'll execute the code you will see first because of this print um, uh, demo dot person one means we are printing the variable so our variable values of our variable has been printed and then our function has been called as you can see this add function and 4 and 8 has been summed and the answer is 12 so i hope you have understood this now we are going to see the libraries so libraries are the collection of pre-existing modules that provide additional functionality so what does it means it means that libraries are the collection of pre-existing modules means there are already uh, many pre-existing modules which have been created and stored in a particular library for a particular type of operations so first i'll give you some examples of libraries so there is numpy for data computing then there is pandas for data analysis then there is django for web development uh, framework and then there is tensorflow for machine learning so all these are libraries then there is math also all these are libraries and there are many more libraries now what does uh, these libraries have in them that these libraries have inbuilt functions and methods inside them 
and for using that we have to first import our library so basically i want to create array here so array is created using the numpy library so we will first import numpy and then we are we want to now import numpy as np now why i have written this as np because i am giving an alias name to this uh, numpy earlier you have uh, i have told you that whenever we want to use uh, the functions present inside that module we have to each time write this uh, module name that is numpy or in earlier case it was a demo so for not writing demo instead of writing numpy we'll write np here so that's why i have given a alias name or a pet name to numpy now i want to create an array for that i have to first create a variable and then i'll call np i'm calling my numpy and then the array function present in numpy and then i'm going to simply create uh, give the items inside my array now simply i'm going to print it and then i'm going to print its type also now when i execute the code you will see that first our array has been printed with all our uh, items in it and then its type numpy.nd array has been printed so in this way we can uh, see uh, the uh, use our library or use a library so there are many libraries for different types of uh, for performing different types of operations so you have if you want to go in machine learning then you have to know about this tensor flow if you want to go for web development then you have to go for dj django so this is up to you what you want to read so thanks for watching the video